She getting hella hype with me, so I'm getting hype now too because you're in my house trying to disrespect me, trying to get loud with me. She lucky I even went back and forth with her because I don't do that. Like, I should have just smacked her. Kelly comes running and she like swoops me and takes me upstairs. I start getting real loud. I'm about to smack somebody. Take me away. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry and you're watching Life with Jerry. Alright y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little story time about how my friend kind of slick, high key tried to fight me in my own house. <laughs> um, I wouldn't, I mean, honestly, let me not say she tried to fight me in my own house because I don't know what her intentions were, but the way it went down, it seemed like, you feel me, yeah. But this is about like a story time that happened a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, at our housewarming. Um, for everybody that was there, you already know what I'm talking about. This is no tea, no shade to that person. I'm not here to bash anybody and I'm not gonna use anybody's real names per se. I mean, I'm Everybody that I'm still cool with, I'll probably use their real names because I'm pretty sure they don't care if they're in this story. And um, the girl who I am tech, who I'm, I'm just not cool with her no more. I'll probably change her name around. Before we get to this video, you already know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on your post notifications. As well as follow me on all of my social medias. They're always in the description box and on the screen. And if you follow me on Instagram, I got you with a shout out. We're on the road to 10k and 200k here on the two. Period. Also, get this video to 50 likes, and without further ado, let's get into this story time. So, I'm gonna start from, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just give y'all a little bit of backstory. Y'all know I don't really do story times like that, so I'm sorry if I end up all over the place. I'm working on it, I really am. Let me back back to when like Rona first kind of started happening. Um, a couple, like a month or two into Rona, um, Kayla and I were going to Atlanta so we could pack up the rest of the apartment and stuff so that way um, we could fully, fully move everything out because you know, Rona happened, we had to move back home to the Bay Area. So um, the girl in the story, okay, this is not to be petty, I promise, but this is only the name, this is like the only like type of name I can really think of for her. We're gonna name her Penny. <laughs> It's only funny to me because I know what her real like name slash nickname is and it's not me being petty I promise I really don't even care about this girl. I don't have no beef towards her I don't know what she got towards me, but I have no beef towards her. I never did I never felt no type of way to her I actually thought that at some point we were gonna be genuine friends But it did start to seem like she was in it for different reasons as in like maybe business more more so than a friendship That's just how it came off to me, but that's besides the point. So we're gonna name her penny So yeah, me and Kayla we're planning to go to Atlanta. So I think I had brought it up to Penny or something like that. Or I had posted a plane ticket or something. And she was like, oh, y'all going to Atlanta? I want to come or something. I don't remember how that exchange really went down. But I was like, yeah, buy your ticket. It's all good. And I texted Kayla to make sure it was all good. Because you feel me, that was really her and Mari's crib. So I'm like, I text Kayla to make sure it was good. So I told her, I was like, yeah, all you have to do is buy your ticket. But let me make sure it's good for you to come. You feel me? So Kayla, everybody that was going to be there the weekend or that week or however long we stayed was like yeah it's all good we're not tripping da, da, da. we want to meet her this that and the third because me and the girl had started really hanging out a lot because we were doing youtube videos together um and once again i felt like it was becoming a genuine friendship but it also seemed as if it was possibly more so business wise i don't know there's a lot of other like many arguments many situations we had that makes me feel that way and she just moved kind of funny at times. I'm not even gonna cap. And I'm not the only one that sees sees that or felt that way because I have gotten situations with her where I told my friends, like, look at these screenshots, look at these messages, am I wrong? Like, do it seem like this is off or whatever the case may be. But that's also besides the point. So we went to Atlanta or whatever. Everything was cool until the last couple days. So one of the nights we had went to one of my friends house we did like a truth or dare video with him and some pranks and stuff like we were filming videos and the truth or dare me and him ended up kissing in that truth or dare y'all know me youtube is entertainment if you're doing a truth or dare video if you're doing stuff like that 
most YouTubers know like, okay, when you're doing truth or dare videos, you gotta make it lit. Like you gotta make the content lit. You gotta really bring the entertainment. You really gotta bring the heat. Just by the name and the connotation behind that title, you feel me? So the dare was, you feel me, kiss or whatever. And so we kissed. I have no problem with it because off camera, I am not having sex with none of these dudes, with this dude. I'm not having sex with him. I'm not like talking to him like that. It's nothing like that. It was literally just for that video. So I had no problem with it. So we kissed or whatever. The day after, or maybe two days later, I think it was maybe a day or two later, we had got tattoos and stuff. Everything was cool. And then the dude and some of my other friends, which are also his friends, came over to Kayla's house so we could do videos. So the idea behind that link up was she was gonna have video, do videos with one guy and they were gonna do like crush videos. Me and the other dude were gonna do like crush videos and the whole group was also gonna be filming videos. So beginning with the crush videos, me and the dude I was doing crush videos with, we filmed all our videos for each other's channel and stuff. So I told her and her dude, I'm like, y'all should film too while everybody's gone because they have went to go get food or something. I'm like, while the house is quiet nobody's here and she was like no I'll do it later did it I'm like are you sure because once everybody comes back it's gonna be loud you feel me and so she was like no it's good da, 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 da. so as soon as everybody comes back is when she basically wanted to do her crush videos which made no sense to me because now it's hella loud in the house nobody's gonna be quiet for y'all like y'all should have did it while everybody was gone that was really why everybody left so we could do our videos you feel me so they was trying to do that video and it was hella loud hella loud like me the dude that I was doing crush videos he was on my YouTube live we was all just having a good time kiki kiki and honestly and we really genuinely forgot they were even in a corner filming it was just the way like it went down was just so like I don't know it was so weird like they were in the corner they didn't really have a right setup I'm like you should have just did this when everybody was gone like if you really the quality of the video just wasn't gonna come out right basically and it was hella loud in the background I'm not even gonna cap nobody was really trying to be quiet we really kept forgetting that they were filming plus I did tell her like film now you feel me but she didn't want to so I mean hey you feel me but like what can you expect it's hella people in this house hella people hella youtubers hella tiktokers like everybody's everybody's trying to get content you feel me so she was getting irritated with everybody because we was being loud but it kind of seemed like it was more so towards me because she kept saying something to me and i'm like it's not just me here and it's not just me loud you feel me i'm trying to tell them to be quiet but at the same time you should have been filmed you feel me so there was that and then we was filming for one of his friends videos it was like a truth or dare or type of video i forgot the title exactly but it was basically a truth or dare or like would you rather and you had to do which one you picked basically it was had like a twist to it he never posted this video and i'm pretty sure i know why but um, it was one of those videos so we were doing that video and it seemed like she kept coming at me with the crazy wild dares you feel me and I'm like whoa you feel me like I'm gonna do them obviously cuz the video the title you feel me I got to turn up you feel me cuz if it gets posted Jerry gang got to show out like oh yeah Jerry with the shit period you know so I'm doing all the shit and my friend Haley she was keeping the stuff so um, Haley was daring her wild stuff back he daring Penny wild stuff back while Penny was there and me wild stuff and Penny wasn't trying to do none of the dares or the would you rathers or whatever and I'm sitting here like this is whack like all the boys are sitting there like my thing is when you bring somebody around people how they act is a reflection of you because that's your friend and if this is a business link up we're trying to film content now I look a certain way because my friend is acting a certain way you feel me so I'm starting to feel some type of way like okay maybe you shouldn't have did this video you should have did other videos like maybe you shouldn't have been in this video because Kayla and Mari sat that video out because they already knew what it was you feel me if they was in that video they knew they had to do some wild stuff at possibly you know so they sat it out she could have sat it out too that's just how I genuinely felt so I had said something y'all know me well if you don't know me now you know I'm outspoken I don't like biting my tongue I like to keep it real I don't sugarcoat nothing so I had told I had said it out loud I was like if you're not gonna do nothing um what was the point of being in the video no 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 I said I said I said don't dare somebody else something you wouldn't do basically stop coming at me stop coming at everybody else with this wild ass shit because when people come at you you cop out you don't want to do it you feel me and so I had said that and she like took it a certain way but I promise I did not mean it in no type of way I just was starting to feel like okay I brought you around these people you look a certain way you're a reflection of me now we look a certain way you feel me so you should have just never been in the video in the first place or just stop daring people wild stuff because then they won't dare you wild stuff they'll keep it chill with you or dare people that they know are gonna do it you feel me and you'll just kind of be a body in the video which is fine you're not doing anything anyway it's okay so everybody like was kind of agreeing with me and I think she felt some type of way because she was like uh-uh she was like uh-uh I feel some type of animosity I don't like this da -da -da, like just talking like crazy and I'm like 
the fuck? Like, it's not that deep. I was just saying, like, don't dare me nothing because when Haley dares you stuff, you don't want to do it. That's it. And so there was that situation. We slick got into it, but we ended up, like, talking it out, like, on the airplane. Afterwards, I, like, was letting her know, like, you feel me? The title of the video just already says, like, it's about to be some wild shit going down. And if you know you're not down for certain stuff, which is perfectly fine, just don't be in that type of video. That's it. That's all I was trying to get at. You feel me? I might have came across wrong. I might have, it might have came out wrong. It might have came across a different way. You you might have took it a different way and I apologize if you felt that way or if you took it a certain way I didn't mean it like that we had that talk we was good cuz I'm the type of person I know how to own up to stuff I know how to hold myself accountable whether I feel like I was wrong or not if I hurt your feelings I will hold myself accountable and I will apologize because I don't know how you felt and I apologize I even made you feel that way so there was that situation after that things were kind of weird but we were still like cool it was like little mini instances like situations that happened that I'm not really gonna get into those could be separate story times but there was other situations that I just don't want to get into because I don't want to make this video too too long so fast forward to the housewarming a couple weeks before the housewarming I had posted something on my close friends and I was like at all my friends I sent out all the invites for the housewarming something something if I missed you or something I'm not sure or I was like check your phone or something I forgot what I said and I really I didn't invite her I did it and not only did it just slip my mind, but I also felt like, you know, since that stuff went down in Atlanta and we were kind of rocky because we got into it a few times after Atlanta over some stuff that like I felt like she was on some weird stuff about I just genuinely felt like maybe I shouldn't invite her because I don't want no weird stuff to happen I don't want no problems I don't want no issues I know how my close friends are which is everybody that was invited my close ass friends my my bitches you feel me I know how they are and they don't put up with weird stuff like I'll put up to stuff because I have a good a really good heart not saying they don't have a good heart they just don't take no shit you feel me they just don't simple a lot of people don't don't take no shit but I like to give people the benefit of the doubt give them a million chances which always comes to bite me in the ass so I'm like I don't know if I really want to bring this girl around them because if she acts up or if she acts a certain way or moves funny I already know it's gonna be problems and you feel me at the end of the day if I'm keeping it a million times honest with y'all all the people that was already invited, I knew them since high school or even longer. Them really my bitches. I just met her not even maybe a year ago. My loyalty lies with my bitches. You feel me at the end of the day? And not saying like, oh, if some shit went down, I'm about to just completely flip on her. No, that's not the case. That's not what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is if she was on some weird shit, I'm going to take my bitch aside. Period. So... I didn't invite her. I really didn't. And she replied to my story, like, with a little emoji, like, what the fuck? Like, why didn't I get invited? And I'm like, oh, snap. Like, my bad. You feel me? But before that, I texted our group chat, my group chat with my three friends. Um, and I was like, so she replied to my story. I don't know. Should I invite her? Or, like, what should we do? Because, you know, she be on weird stuff. They know the situations that's happened between me and her multiple occasions. So I'm like, should we invite her or what? Like, you feel me? Two out of, two of them have actually met her in person um telly never met her so telly and kayla were like oh uh, yeah let's just invite her and um just pray for the best you know we got to give people the benefit of the doubt i'm like you're right facts okay so i sent her the invite everything was good um, fast forward to the housewarming weekend. She came a day early. She came on Friday. So Friday, most of that day, like, was cool. We was chilling. Like, it was good vibes. You know, we ain't seen each other spoke in a really long time. But it was, like, good vibes. You feel me? So she ended up sleeping in my room on a blow-up bed or whatever. And one thing that blew me was, okay, she brought her in and out drink in here. I never, she never asked me, like, oh, hey, do you eat in your room? It's her first time here. You feel me? I feel like when it's your first time somewhere you should always ask because you never know some people don't eat in their room some people don't do this in their room they don't do that so just to be sure you should always ask just that common human decency and courtesy so I didn't even know she brought her in and out drink in here till the next morning so the next morning comes I'm trying to clean up my room my room is not ready for people to be over or nothing I'm trying to clean up my room and I was working four hours overtime so it was just a lot going on so I asked her to um like take her bed apart like blow deflate her air bed or whatever and she didn't do it like the bed was just still up here and stuff and i'm like okay so me and mari and kayla were like okay we could just deflate it that's fine so i'm taking the stuff off her bed mind you before that i was trying to get stuff like that was around her bed like to pick up the stuff so i could clean up around my room she did not move at all like she was letting me maneuver around the bed struggle but that's besides the point so <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we're trying to take down her bed or whatever. I go to the bed. It's hot Cheeto crumbs all in the bed. 
my pillowcase, my white pillowcase has hot Cheeto crumbs smeared on it. There's her in and out cup on the floor. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like, I'm the type of person, like, I, I, I have, I don't know what it is, but I like to keep my stuff clean. I don't eat in my room for real. The only time I really, like, only person that's ever really ate my room is my dude. And that's because he didn't feel like going downstairs to eat breakfast, and I knew he was going to clean up after himself, which he did. Like, he didn't make no mess, nothing. So that's the only person that's ever ate in my room. And he, at least it was, like, verbally like an agreement like yeah you could eat in here type stuff you feel me because i was like you want to eat in here or you want to eat upstairs i mean or downstairs like that was an agreement nobody ever asked me she did not ask me because she eat in here she had hot cheetos she was just having time of her life in that air bed but my thing is i wouldn't have had a problem with it if it wasn't hot cheeto crumbs all over the bed and my white pillowcase wasn't smeared with cheetos hot cheetos literally I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. I show Kayla and Mario, and I'm like, look at this. But I ain't address it. I ain't say nothing because I didn't want no beef. I didn't want no drama. People always feel like you're trying to be weird when you address something, when you're just trying to be an adult about things. People always take it a certain way. I already know how this girl is. I didn't want no problems. I didn't have time to be beefing with Penny over the weekend. I just didn't have the time. So I just let it go. Um, we cleaned up. We took the air bed down. And Mario was like, hey, can I sleep on this air mattress tonight? You feel me? Because that's where I want to sleep tonight. Because we was it was me Kayla and Mari on the bed that Friday night and it was just very cramped even though my bed's not hella small it's kind of big it was just cramped so I'm like yeah I mean it's a new day it's a new night like nobody said oh I'm keeping this all weekend like it's nobody's bed if you want it tonight you can have it tonight who cares like it's not that big a deal we got like six air mattresses ain't no biggie it's no biggie that one is just honestly like the best one because it's nice and big it's hella comfy whatever so Mari said she wanted it I'm like bet you just gotta deflate it and then put it where you want to put it and then you could get it tonight because I did ask her to deflate it she didn't deflate it I'm talking about Penny I asked her to deflate it she did not deflate it so I'm like Mari you could deflate it and you could take it tonight I don't care and so she's like okay bet so me and Mari deflated the air mattress she folded it up she put it in my closet and that was just that for that that part of the day and this was the day of the housewarming so we ran some errands we went to get food and stuff she had asked me for some lotion and then I think she had asked Telly for some socks which I didn't even know about like whatever <laughs> i just feel like you should bring everything you need but hey i mean we was all well she it was her first time actually meeting Telly, so i'm surprised she was like you know comfortable enough to ask somebody that she just met for some socks but i mean everybody moves different like it was not a big deal it is what it is but yeah so moving on to the housewarming night so housewarming night honestly things is cool they was chill we was all chilling until now this is where it's about to start getting into the tea a little bit so everything was cool i'm hella drunk like we chilling everybody's starting to get their beds out and stuff just so when we are ready to go to sleep and when we do go to bed everything's already set up so everybody's getting their beds out and stuff mind you my room is available for people to sleep in telly's room is available for people to sleep in downstairs and the couch is available for people to sleep Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. Three whole places of this whole house for people to sleep. Honestly, the hallway too, if you really wanted it. It's comfy, like shit. But I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Everything is open, right? So I come upstairs and like everybody's getting their air mattresses together and stuff. And it seemed like everybody was trying to put their stuff in my room, which is fine. I really don't care. Um, I did just let them know, like, you know, Telly does have a room too that people can sleep in and downstairs is available as well. And so, um... Mind you, one of my friends had already caught the couch, but like she was already ready. She was kicked up, relaxing, chilling on that couch. Like that was her spot for the night, which was fine. Mari comes to me and she was like, oh, she found, like she she's blowing up the air mattress that I called or whatever, the bed that I called. And I'm like, okay, I'll go up there and I'll just let her know like you called it or whatever. You know, just me trying to make sure all everybody that's here is happy is okay you know so i come upstairs and i let her know like hey penny you feel me mari called that bed this morning she said she wanted to sleep on it so i'm just letting you know that she did call it you feel me it was fair game and she called it so i'm just letting you know that's it and she was like okay yeah but i did sleep on it last night and i'm like that's fine but i'm just letting you know that she did call it if y'all want to sleep on it together that's perfectly fine i really don't care y'all can speak amongst yourselves i'm just here to let you know she called it that's it everything after that is between y'all I don't have no parts in it. I don't want no parts in it. It's not my business. So that was that. And then I see, and then it was her and my two other friends up here trying to like figure out the bed situation or whatever. And so from what I was hearing is she was up here trying to regulate. Like, yeah, I slept here last night. So my bed's going to go, my bed's going to go right here. Woody, woody, whoop. Like up here trying to really regulate like she lives here or something. And it's like, there's two other places for people to sleep. Like, 
I don't get the problem, you know? Like, it's not that deep. All three beds do not have to fit in here, trust me. They don't, <laughs> they really don't. Y'all can sleep in Telly's room, y'all can sleep downstairs, like literally two other places, but anyways. All right, <clears throat> y'all, it's hella early in the morning. Editing Jerry here. I forgot to add, like, throughout the whole, like, everything going down, her trying to put the beds up and stuff, she kept saying, I don't get why y'all keep trying to have me sleep by myself in Telly's room, and da 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 y'all don't want me to be with y'all, this, that, and the third. Like, she kept basically making it seem like we wanted to isolate her, but the thing is, Telly would have been in Telly's room, sleeping in Telly's room. So how would you be by yourself? Even Telly offered her her room to sleep in, and she kept saying, like, y'all just trying to make me sleep by myself, did it? Like, I don't get how it was going to be by herself. My other friend literally slept in Telly's room with her and was fine. So I just wanted to put that part in there because I don't think I mentioned that at all throughout this story. <laughs> so one of my friends comes downstairs and she's like, uh, Penny moved my bed. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's about to be a problem. Fuck, like, damn, shit. I just wanted good vibes. But she didn't come down there, like, mad or nothing. Like, she was laughing. She was like, Penny moved my bed. Like, ha, 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 you know? And I'm like, okay, she's not mad. Okay, great. Like, it's, it's all good vibes still. She's just letting me know she moved her bed. Like, you feel me? Why she moved my bed? But, like, ha, ha, that's funny. And I'm like, okay, bet. So I'm like, oh, why? And she was like, I don't know. And I'm like, no, I was like, who? She was like, Penny. I was like, ah, shit. But we was laughing. Like, it was jokes. It was all jokes. Like, it was wasn't no weird shit, no, no funny business, nothing. Like, if it was a problem, she would have addressed it to Penny. Believe me. She would have addressed it. My friends are, like, more ruthless than I am. Like, I be trying to be nice and sugarcoat sometimes. Sometimes. Like, I be trying to avoid confrontation, so I try to be chill. But they don't give a fuck. They'll say something if it's really an issue. So she was just saying it, like, you feel me? Like, she moved my bed. You feel me? But, like, it's, like, not even a problem. So Penny comes downstairs, and I guess she might have overheard us say her name or something. She gets mad defensive hella fast. And I'm like, oh, shit. It's not even this deep. So she gets hella defensive. It's a problem. What was said? What happened? Da -da 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 -da. Hella, like, hyped. And I'm like, what the? But she's not looking at me. She's talking to the other two girls that was up here with her when they were trying to figure out the bed situation. My two friends. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, I don't really think everybody that's downstairs is really hearing what's going on. Like, it's kind of quiet with them going back and forth in a way. So one of the girls, one of my friends, she like, oh, she ain't talking to me. So she came back upstairs to figure out her bed stuff because she was like, she ain't talking to me. Um, and then my other friend and then Penny were like, Penny was like coming at her a certain way. And so I peeped my friend, hand her phone to my other friend. And I'm like, oh shit, like it's really about to go down possibly. So let me step in because I don't want it to go down. Like it's not that deep. It's just a bed. And I know that my friend is upset because Penny's coming at her sideways over a damn bed that wasn't that deep. Like if she would have just came downstairs, like, are you guys talking about me? Or like trying to address it in a different way. Like everything that goes on after is because of your tone you know like if you come at somebody like okay there's two ways to come at somebody you could be like what the fuck was said da -da 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 -da, which is how penny came downstairs or you could have came down like hey y'all speaking about y'all speaking on me like what's the tea you know like what's up like what happened you feel me then we would have just addressed it like oh we wasn't even talking about you for real like we was just saying you moved her bed but we was laughing about it, it wasn't that deep and it would have been that and we would move past it but no she came downstairs hype and y'all know how people are when liquor is in their system and somebody's coming at them a certain way mind you i'm drunk as fuck but i am very aware of everything i'm saying everything i'm doing i'm very aware okay yes liquor was in my system but everything i said and did was really me like i don't give a fuck like that was me like because like what but anyways so i peeped my friend hand her phone to my other friend i'm like oh shit like you feel me like we can't even have it go down for real because everybody gonna be in this bitch fighting this one girl because we all got loyalty with each other we've all known each other the longest we all rock with each other the hardest and this girl came downstairs and started something so i'm me trying to be peacemaker because i don't want nothing to go down i want everybody to still have a good time good vibes i'm trying to be peacemaker let's keep that in mind here so i step in and i'm like hey it's your tone that's it all i said i said it's your tone i said you came down here real hype that's all it is it's your tone that's why people feel some type of way it's just your tone like if you fix your tone feel fix how you're talking to people then it won't be that big of an issue like it's not that deep this is just about a bed it's not that serious she gets hype with me. Mind you, I'm drunk, so I kind of don't remember everything that was said, but I just remember her getting real hype with me, like, hella loud. That's when everybody else looked like, what's going on? Because she got loud with me. Mind you, like I said, people didn't even really know her and my other friend were kind of, like, having a conversation because it was more so, like, a quiet but, like, 
attitude type of thing. You feel me? With the hands and all the extra attitude. But when it came to me, she got real hype, real loud. And I'm like, what the fuck? I came in as a peacemaker. Why the fuck you getting hype with me? Like, I ain't do shit to you at all. I'm just letting you know it's your tone because I don't want her to backhand you and y'all be in this bitch fighting. That's it. So, um... She getting hella hype with me, so I'm getting hype now too because you're in my house trying to disrespect me, trying to get loud with me when all I was trying to do was be a peacemaker. I don't take that stuff. Like, I don't do the talking with people. I don't do none of that. She lucky I even went back and forth with her for the two minutes I went back and forth with her because I don't do that. Like, I should have just smacked her, but I'm like, no. At the end of the day, this was still a friend, and all I was doing was being a peacemaker. This is not my battle. This never was my battle. I was just trying to be a peacemaker. That's it. Like, what the fuck? So, Telly comes running, and she like swoops me and takes me upstairs because she could tell I'm getting a little hype you feel me everybody know how I get I don't do the talking for real if I start getting real loud I'm about to smack somebody take me away because I think I I think I was like no at this point you got me fucked up or something like that that's when everybody knew like no take Jerry upstairs take her upstairs now she's drunk and she's getting real 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 real, real, real upset so <laughs> tell her brings me upstairs Next thing you know, next thing you know, Penny comes upstairs too. Like, why would you come upstairs after she brings my hype ass upstairs? You should have just stayed downstairs, to be honest. But she comes upstairs. She's still a little hype, but I think she's trying to, like, explain herself. So I'm like, hold on. Let me explain my where I came from, where I hopped in the situation. Because this was never between me and you. I never had a bitch issue with you. It was never this deep. That's what I told her. I was like, it's not even this deep. Let me explain why I even said something to you. I was like, it's your tone. You came down there real hype. That's why... My other friend came upstairs like she ain't talking to me. Everybody peeped it. You came downstairs real hype. Everybody that was in that area peeped how you came downstairs. And everybody at that point felt attacked, if you ask me. But we all knew that she was only talking to two people. Really was never my issue, but it was the way she came downstairs. So I let her know. I'm like, it's the way you came downstairs. It's the way you came down talking to people. It was your tone. That's it. That's all I was letting you know. She's like, no, but da -da -da. I'm like, you know what? I can't even talk to you like this. I don't even want to have this conversation because if you can't let me talk and you listen and you take it in and then you feel me have a something to say instead she's she's listening to argue not listening to understand and I don't have time for that I'm not with that shit I don't have time to go back and forth with somebody especially not in my house because you could dip but I wasn't finna kick her out we all was drinking so I'm like you know what this is not gonna get anywhere tonight I'm just done. I'm not finna have this conversation with you. I walk away while she's talking. I do. I don't give a fuck if it's rude. I don't give a fuck. You're not finna come at me. You're not finna be yelling at me. You're not finna be hyped with me. If you're not listening to understand as if I, as I would have done with you, listening to understand where you're coming from, to understand how you felt in this situation, you're not giving me that same respect. I'm not gonna have a conversation with you. Sorry, not sorry, not happening. So I went back downstairs. Didn't give a fuck. Went back downstairs. Next thing you know, everybody came upstairs. I think she was in the closet, hella mad, slamming stuff. I don't even know what she was doing in my closet, but like, chill out, bro, chill out. I ain't even going there, because I'm like, I don't want no problems. I'ma just let her be, let her do her. Like I said, I, I was never going in there with the intentions of arguing or about to fight her or nothing. I was just going in there to let, you, let her know, like, hey, it's your tone, that's it. It's just your tone, calm it down, that's it. So, um, Telly and my other friend go in the closet with her and they're trying to talk to her because I guess she was trying to leave I don't know. It was a lot going on. I guess she was trying to leave. We everybody else is like, okay Like this is it's not that deep to even be trying to leave That's how you know you damn near don't even fuck with me like that because if you're ready to bounce over a bed Which the situation was never between me and her at all ever all I did was step in as a peacemaker and She took it a certain way I feel like if it was me, I would have waited till the morning to try to talk to her while we weren't drunk anymore, which is why I said I was walking away and I said we could talk about this later. Cuz liquor is in our system. We're not going to we're not going to come to an agreement tonight. We're just not. Let's continue to enter enjoy the night. There's other people here that you could fuck with. Other people here I could fuck with. We could keep our distance and then in the morning talk about it. That's how my think process was. But I wasn't going to say all that because she was still rah 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 hella loud. But that was my intention. You feel me? But she was ready to dip. Like, I'm like, damn, you really don't fuck with me like that, which is fine. At this point, I see your true colors. I see how you genuinely feel. That's fine. My my feelings towards you or how I felt you felt towards me was true. You didn't fuck with me like that from the start, obviously. You had other intentions with me, and that's all it was. So she was in the, in the 
in the closet with them, I guess talking about everything, like, no, I'm just going through a lot, and da 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 da, and she don't understand this, and that's supposed to be my friend, and da da, and they trying to get her to see where I'm coming from, she's still not listening, like, Telly was telling her, like, you feel me, you were kind of wrong, like, the way you came downstairs was wrong, and then you came at her, she was just trying to be peacemaker, like, trying to get her to understand she wasn't listening, my other friend trying to get her, like, trying to, you know, just talk to her. She wasn't listening. She was still hype. I guess she was in there crying. I don't know. I really wasn't in the closet. Me and my other friend were kind of listening. Then we went downstairs because we're like, honestly, we're not even tripping. Like, it never was that deep. It's a bed. It was never that deep. Everybody could pile up in my damn bed, in Telly bed. Like, it didn't matter. Like, it was never that deep. So we went back downstairs. So we're downstairs playing games and stuff. I go in the refrigerator to get, I think I went to get the lime because I had got dared to take a shot of lime. And I hear her on the staircase talking hella shit about the situation and about me. I ain't say nothing, I let it go. I act like I didn't hear it because at the end of the day, my intention was never to start drama. I am not that type of person. I don't care. I'd rather talk it out with somebody. And if I'm drunk, I'm not gonna keep trying to address you because at one point, we're gonna fight. Sorry, we're just gonna end up fighting. So I just let it go because I already know how I get. I know how I am. I don't do the talking. You're not gonna come at me a certain way. You're not gonna get loud with me. If you can't talk to me as an adult, you don't need to talk to me at all because we have nothing to talk about. Because I don't wanna fight you. I don't. I'm not, I don't even like fighting for real. Like, I don't like doing none of that. Like, so I just let her talk her shit on the stairs. It is what it is. You in my house, you wanna talk shit, you wanna be disrespectful? Do you, boo? Do you? I don't even have the energy. So, we keep playing. Um, we end up playing hide and seek out of nowhere. I don't even know how that happened, but we end up playing hide and seek. And so um, we end up hiding and stuff. One of my friends, the friend that she came downstairs, like at first really getting into it with, was um, trying to find us because I guess, um, come to find out, Penny was um, in the bathroom talking hella shit. No, I don't give a fuck. And if they think I'm finna stay here, they're tripping. Da -da -da -da. Because mind you, before we started playing hide and seek, she went outside like she was leaving, got in her car and stuff. My friend went out there. My friend went out there to check on her. Mind you, this whole time, most of them don't know her. And they're all checking on her, trying to be a good friend towards her. And they don't know her from a can of paint. Because they know my intentions were pure. If they didn't feel like my intentions were pure, or if I was wrong, they would not have done all of that. I promise you. Like, they kept letting her know, like, Jerry not even like that. She not with the drama. She, her intentions were pure. Might have came out a certain way because she drunk. Or maybe you're just not listening or understanding. But just wait and talk to her in the morning. Like, they was really pushing that issue. And she did not give a fuck. She did not. Because she was never my friend. Period. But anyways. So, my friend goes out there again to talk to her. To try to get her to stay. She come back in the house. Everybody, nobody's paying her attention because everybody's over the situation. She's the only one still on it. Literally, only one still hyped up rah-rah about it. Literally, it was a bad. We all let it the fuck go. It was never that deep. So she comes back in the house and she's like, yeah guys, so I hope we can all just be chill and like kick it. I never meant it to come off a certain way. I don't like drama. I am not the person to be in drama. Like that's just not me. Drama is not my thing. I don't like being messy. Like I just wanna chill and have a good time and my friend is like, hey, let it go. They're over it. Like, they're not really even listening to you. Just let it go. They're over it. Everybody was ignoring her because we're over it. Why are you still talking about it? Why? Like, let it the fuck go. Literally. So, we end up playing games and stuff. She's a key, 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 and she's having a good time. I hear her laughing. I'm not really associating with her because I'm still, like, irritated because she came at me when I was just peacemaking. Literally. So, I'm not paying her in mind, but I hear her laughing. I hear her having a good time. So, I'm like, okay. Everything's all peaches and cream, bet. So we end up playing hide and seek. I'm thinking she running around playing hide and seek too. So no, my friend finds us, we're done playing hide and seek. And my friend was like, yeah, I really just came to find y'all because um, old girl Penny was in the bathroom talking hella shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. They really think I'm gonna stay here. They're tripping, did it. I'm not gonna stay here. Uh, this, that, and third, people are fake. Like all this stuff in my bathroom. And so I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And then come to find out she did leave while we were playing hide and seek. So I'm like, okay, like, bye to you too. Like, I just don't feel like it was that deep. And if you were so-called so drunk, why would you drive two and a half or three hours back home that drunk when you could have just stayed the night and then talked about it in the morning? It was never that deep. It was a bed. It was just a bed. You're doing too much. Like, you're doing entirely too much. It was never that deep. But me being me, I'm not gonna hurt my head or go crazy over something or someone where I know I wasn't in the wrong. I know you had different intentions with me. Your true colors just came out right now. I don't have nothing else for you. I have nothing else for the situation. I'm over it. You wanna leave? You can leave. I wish you nothing but the best in your life and your endeavors. So 
We're upstairs in the room chilling. I get on Instagram. The girl still has me and her close friends. And she's on her close friends talking hella shit. Oh, bitches are fake. I was never one to be a fake ass bitch. Da 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 da. Bitches this, bitches that. Just really talking hella shit. Didn't do none of that in this house though. Was talking about she don't like drama. She not with the drama. She just wants to be peaceful and this, that, and the third. But on Instagram, popping it, popping off out the mouth. So I swipe up and I say something because I'm not one to buy my tongue. I keep it a buck. I keep it real. I say what I gotta say to you. I don't run to social media. What are you running to social media for? What are you running to Instagram for? It was never that deep. If you had an issue, you could have texted me about it after you left. Why are you on Instagram talking shit? Like it's never that deep. It's a bed bro like are you dead ass are you dead ass you want me to go buy you another fucking air mattress like what the fuck do you want me to do like it was never that deep literally so um i swipe up and i'm like oh but you're not about that drama you don't like drama you don't like this that and third yeah you're real weird da, da, da. you waited you did all that just to get on instagram and talk shit when you could have did that in my face da, da, da. i'm like weird yeah okay or something i don't even remember i said something and so she was like okay and I was like, LMFAO, okay. And I unfollowed her. Because, bitch, you're done. Like, she removed me out her close friends, too, after I said something. And I was like, LMFAO, okay. So I unfollowed her. Then the next day, she makes a post, something about bitches being fake, all this stuff. Like, you're still on it for what? You're obviously feeling some type of way about nothing that was ever anything. Like, you're trying to make me out to be this type of person. Pretty sure you're still on your for close friends talking shit because you're not bold enough to post it on your story or tag a bitch. You always talk shit on your close friends. You talk shit about your real friends on your close friends. You talk shit about people you take trips with on your close friends. All you do is talk shit on your close friends. You're scary. You're weird. You're not about it. Like, I watch you talk mess about people you go and hang out with on your close friends. So I, I really already know that I'm already being talked about on her close friends. Probably still am to this day. I don't know. Bitches be bothered. Bitches be pressed when it was never that deep. I never had an issue with her. I never felt no type of way. Like I said from the start, when I befriended her, well, actually, she came in my DMs about YouTube, about watching me and stuff. And I was like, you know what? It's giving supporter... It's giving supportive vibes, but I'm humble. I don't look at people as fans and all this stuff, so I befriended her. We started doing videos together, but I knew from the start her intentions was probably business. But from the start, my intentions was a genuine friendship. Didn't work out that way. Fine with me, I don't give a fuck. I was never gonna take it to social media. I just wanted to make a story time about it because why not? <laughs> why not monetize the story? Like, hello? But yeah so that's the tea that's how i almost found my friend in my house like it was just a lot like i feel like that's so weird like i don't know i'm not with the drama stuff i'd rather talk it out with people i don't like getting hyped i don't like getting out of character i don't like people bringing me out of my character i don't like fighting i don't like doing none of that i'm an adult now i don't got time for drama being in drama is just trash and disgusting like who does that and egging on and being messy is just trash and disgusting like ew i don't want to associate myself with that and i realized that's the type of person she was so i unfollowed her simple like it was never no bad blood i was gonna keep it pushing it was never no beef it was no pressure like i knew I knew it wasn't no pressure because she wasn't about to pop off when we was here for real so why was i gonna keep it going like what but i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below if y'all think i was wrong comment below your thoughts on this story i kind of like i don't know if it was all over the place if it was i apologize but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications i love you so so much jerry gang and i'll see you guys in my next video let me leave you on a quick positive note beat your face not people bye